the chair spins around with a frequency of 0 0.5 hertz. So the first thing I'm going to put my frequency of 0 0.5 hertz. What is the period of the chair's spin? So my time period is equal to 1 divide, divided by the frequency. So my time period is 0, I'm sorry, 1 divided by 0 0.5, which is equal to 2 seconds. Remember, our time has to be in seconds when we do these problems. Next problem. A record has a scratch 12 centimeters from the center, so I have a radius of 12 centimeters. I'm going to convert that to meters, so divide it by 100, so that's 0 0.12 meters. That makes the record skip 45 times each minute. So what I need is my time period. I'm going to try to find the linear speed, so my tangent velocity is equal to 2 pi times the radius, which I have, divided by the time period. So I need the time period. My time period is 1 over frequency, so that means it's going around each minute, so that's 60 seconds, convert that to seconds, and it goes around 45 times. So my time period is going to be 60 divided by 45, which is 1.33 seconds. Remember, that's the number, that's how long it takes to go around once. So my tangent velocity is equal to 2 pi times 0.12 divided by 1.33. So my tangent velocity for this is 0 0.57 meters per second. It is a linear velocity, linear tangent speed, so therefore we keep our unit in meters per second. Next problem. A ride has a radius of 4 meters. The ride takes 2 seconds to make one full revolution. Remember our definition of a time period is how long it takes to go around one time. So this is going around once in two seconds, so that means my time period is two seconds. So what is the linear speed? So part A, my tangent, my linear speed is 2 times pi times 4 divided by my 2. These cancel, so my tangent speed pi 3.14 times 4 is going to be 12.56 meters per second. Part B, what is the centripetal acceleration? Remember my centripetal acceleration is my velocity squared divided by the radius, so that's equal to 12.56 squared divided by my 4, which is equal to 39.44 meters per second squared. Next problem, a 6,500 kilogram plane, so I've got a mass, of, I'm sorry, 60,500 kilogram plane, flies in a circle with a radius of 50 kilometers. So I have a radius of, I need this in meters, so I'm going to multiply it times 1,000 meters, once every 30 minutes. So there's my time period. I need that in seconds, so 30 times 60 is 1,800 seconds. What is the centripetal force? So my formula for centripetal force is mass times acceleration, so that's mass, velocity squared, divided by the radius. So my centripetal force, first thing, I'm sorry, first thing I need to do is find my velocity. So my tangent velocity is going to be equal to 2 pi 50,000 divided by the time period, 1800. So my tangent velocity is equal to 174.44 meters per second. So now I can plug that in for my centripetal force. I have everything else. So my mass is 60,500. My velocity, 174.44 squared, divided by my radius, which is 50,000, so that is all equal to 3,68194.47 newtons. That's a lot of force, but it's a large airplane, so there's going to be a lot of force on the wings.